So uh, we were talking about the global warming thing. Yeah, it's not what we were saying, how it's not a it, people think we're doing something wrong. Uh -huh. But we're not aside from the earth. We're part of it. We're organisms that came out of the earth, and now we're making it go cold. That's what's supposed to happen. Yeah, whatever happens is supposed to happen. Yes. We're not, we are animals we're part of nature. indigenous to this planet. So whatever we do, whatever resources we are smart enough to dig out of the ground or pull well, out of the air smart. or the water. It's just we're organisms. We're like yeast that, that eat sugar and make alcohol yeah. by pooping it. Right. We just we take stuff out of the ground and we burn it. And it's going to yeah. make the earth. But if there's not, people have this thing that they think the earth is supposed to last forever, that we have a right to this forever. <laughs> Again, the right. It's, yeah. yeah, no, we don't. We have no protection from from uh, global warming. It's what's going to happen. And it's our, we're making it happen, but so what? It's not a moral thing. There was a, it's there supposed was a... to be over now. It's supposed to, the, the oceans are going to rise. Manhattan's going to be an underwater theme park for a while. You're going to get to visit it by submarine. <laughs> Which would be a lot of fun. Yeah, well, and it's a shame that my grandchildren won't know. They'll, 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 you know, they'll be cooked by the sun. Well, <laughs> well Louie, one of our eye on a rock. That makes me sad personally. But yeah. I don't believe that that's good. That, that, like I was saying, the, Republic, the first Ice Age wasn't some Republican atrocity. <laughs> It just happened because we're still America. We're still the we still have every more than everybody else. It's right. not like you know the, the unwashed billions that are just going to get you know uh, yeah. that are dying anyway. They don't need global warming to die. People in Darfur and whatever they're dying anyway. So you're a, just you're a fan of just that. Ah, don't even worry about well, it. Well, I just don't think. No, I mean, I, I, look, if people would like to have the Earth a little longer, then mm -hmm. they should slow down. I, I, uh, but it's not a moral thing. Nobody's doing anything morally wrong because no. we are just and we're part of nature. You know what? Amazing we're elements of nature. If we were a little smarter, we would put all of the, all of the uh, energy that we have, like nuclear energy and stuff, we would use it to to keep making rockets to get off of the planet. Yeah, and make yeah. a new one. It's with it. We could do that. Get make a new one somewhere. So that would, but where you were using a lot of that energy to to off each other to to kill each other. So that, yeah, that's, we kind of like again, doing that. That's a shame. I just don't think it's like the, that's something we've human been doing. Race for, isn't supposed to last forever. We're gonna go at some point, right? We've been killing each other for forever. Everybody dies. Every band stops making hits. <laughs> hey, you know, like when they show on VH1, they're like, "What happened to Love and Spoonful? Why aren't they still number one every week forever?" They just because everything has stop. a crest. Everything has a yep, yep. curve to it. A lifespan. I don't agree with either side of the argument, though, because the people that say this isn't going to happen are liars also. Yeah. People that say global warming is a myth and it's got nothing to do with mankind, those people are liars. They're just greedy liars. Yeah. But, and the people that say, oh, no, it's horrible, they're all all—they're just stupid. I, I'm, I have this third feeling, which is, yeah, it's happening, but so what? So yeah. it's time to die now. I can't see it happening over, this drunk and quickly. And look what we did. We dug out New Orleans, and then that's back to normal. Yeah, don't worry about it. <laughs> Tourism's up. They got rid of some riffraff called sarcasm. They're but, in but Houston we're on, now. We're, we're back to getting it to where it was, okay? Yeah. yeah. We figured some things out. No, I don't think we will. I we think that the New Orleans a little bit. is probably over. And people that are like, how is America going to keep being number one? It's not. No, nothing lasts. You know what? And no, Rome I, didn't last. America's no, not going to no last. No empire lasts. No, yeah. it just doesn't. So no, we don't get to be as safe as we were. We just don't. Yeah. And what is... Uh, Somebody else's turn. It's China's turn. Hey, I was just letting you know that a global warming, it, it's not about saving the planet. The planet will always be here. It's mm. about saving us as a human race. Mm. Well, it's Yeah, but that's the thing. I don't think that that's a moral issue. I think no. if it's time for the human race to be underwater and extinct, then that's going to happen now. I'm sure the, the mammoth... It's time for that. I'm sure the mammoth wanted to hang out for a little while longer. Yeah, exactly. Or the... <laughs> The well, three toed sloth. You know, there's people that believe that we are, we are, we were apes. There's a, a theory of evolution called the aquatic ape theory, which mm -hmm. says that we were apes that got uh, underwater. Like that there was, we were apes that were on an island and there was, and we had to start swimming. And that that's how, Ooh. if you take an ape and you make him swim for thousands of years, he'll start to have, let, you know, no fur and it straightens your back. The, your back straightened out through not walking, but through swimming. 
And that's what made us hey, that's interesting. Cool. smarter. Interesting. It made us smarter. It made our sno- snouts turn into noses because they're easy, better for swimming. Yeah. And that some of us kept going and became dolphins and that the rest of us are humans. Too lazy. We're like, ah, yeah, and we, ah, we're stop right, right, right here. here. Good enough for me. I'm just going to stop here. Yeah, this is good. <laughs> exactly. I like this. And we came back to Earth. So that just happened. There weren't well, the apes that stood there and went, this is so, this isn't right. <laughs> we're so pompous. I want to still be an ape. Humans want to last forever. And no, not, we're not going and, to. And, of course, I, of course I, I would love to see humans last forever. But, yeah, it's yeah. not in the cards. No, it's not. I, we're pompous. It's not. No. And, and it's going to be something so ridiculous that takes out, uh, you yeah. know, uh, our, our humans. Yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be like a person. bee or something. It's going to be some kind of bee. Yeah. So uh, the last person is going to be like, wow, who saw this yeah. as the end? Like, I gonna love be like, Pot Talk be Monday. Just, yeah, it, it is Pot Talk Monday. Bee. Love Pot Talk Monday. It's going to be some kind of space <laughs> Dust yeah. that was just happened to be on an astronaut, do it. an astronaut sleeve that they yep. forgot about. Just some dumb the thing Andromeda that just wipes yep. everybody out, yep. and no one saw it coming. I think it's going to be one B, like one specific B, <laughs> just like sting have some super sting, yeah. and, and just it's no lethal in hundred percent of the cases. Yeah. No, and it makes sense that look, I have kids. I want them like I, I when I leave an uh, uh, um, a hotel room, I turn off the air conditioning. Ooh, you know, whatever. I do what I have to do. I leave the air conditioning I... on and open the doors in the Bahamas, <laughs> like a sliding glass door is blowing ninety five yeah. degree humid air in, and and I got the air conditioning blasting the TVs on. Yeah, yeah you got weather fronts. Oh, I don't care. In the middle of your room. I don't care. But yeah, uh, no, I don't. I I, I do what I can because of my kids, but. Uh, at some point, we're gonna be. There's gonna be. We're gonna be the last generation of humans. Somebody's yeah. gonna be the last one. Someone's gonna be the last. And it's not our fault. We're just dumb animals. Planet. Some generation should decide to be the last one and like neuter themselves and just have Ooh. one last generation where you, everybody just drinks and has sex and, and uses all the oil they can. Just drives gas and, guzzlers and then just dies. They hey, drive on no the highway humans. in that vehicle that pulls the space shuttle out of the building. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> Just drive around. <laughs> That's what you drive to work yeah. in. You know, after you get like, past the fact that you're the last generation, that yeah. the, after you, the, the, the Earth is going to be awfully uh, strange, whatever, you can have a lot of fun. Yeah, oh, you yeah. sure can. You, you can know, have the a lot last of fun. astronauts take the space shuttle and just go out. Yeah. Just, just leave. Turn into skeletons somewhere. Yeah, who Saturn. cares? Just unprotected sex with oh. anybody. Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's great stuff. Walk around with guns. Unlock the prisons. Yeah. Let them all out. Yeah. Who cares? That's why I think it's creepy that we're like, we're animals. Yeah. But there's no second place. There's no vice animal. <laughs> that's what creeps well, me out. We don't have really, the vice president that's what of, creeps me of out. humans. We've yeah, had this discussion many times. That creeps me out. It's like... Why isn't there someone in second place just kind of like waiting for us to f up that we look at like, like oh. looking at it wrong because you're you're picturing like an animal doing like a you know like a like kind of a retarded human you're you're picturing second like place a, like an elephant in a suit and but now dude, he a... has the, now he owns the baseball <laughs> that's team. what we an elephant in a suit. but Louis that's what we joke about we're like <laughs> yeah why is, why aren't you taking a bus with uh, I don't know a squirrel or uh, yeah. like s- some other. Right. You know, well, life form. Because that's how we roll. But right. bugs are actually a bigger, they have more run of the joint than we do. Right. This place would look totally different, too, after a few years uh, of no humans being around to maintain the roads and the oh. buildings. This place would just look like a vined, yeah. overgrown no. oh, yeah. mess that some other animal would Wouldn't just take long. No. No, we're living on. But doesn't it creep you out that there's nobody. Even near us, no, as far as a massive ones, drop off. We're actually <laughs> massive drop off. Well, that's only if well, you measure the, us as the apex. That's but all the other animals and say we're yeah. getting the but most. But Louis, out of the all the other animals kind of live together, and they're kind of right, like and they're doing similar. Fine. And and we are the only ones that do not belong on this earth. Well, this is this is how we survive. Yeah, we're a little weird. We're, we were weak animals, so we built these. We have the our all right. So why aren't shelters the, and huts are just weird? They're huge and metal. Why aren't the dolphins uh, building stuff? They don't need to because they survive. Why the hasn't one other animal built something that is? Uh, like almost similar to what we do. Even but close. That's like an even lion. the even the apes. You don't even see one animal using something to get themselves around. <laughs> well, like a primitive bike or yeah. or a a something. That means bike. they're going to see a monkey just driving just a bike that came from like Gilligan's Island. <laughs> I, I think we come from somewhere else, and that's why. Do you think so? Yep. I think yeah, he's a very from. strong believer in that. I'm, I'm, I think we just landed. Brought here, here, dropped off, never belonged here. If you really, if you start with an ape. 
before they were us, and yeah. you just start get, and he just starts figuring stuff out little by little. You just get here. This isn't to me. But no other big, animals getting there. Deal. No other yeah, animals getting there. That's not their way that they survive. Their populations are doing fine but without all this shit. But they're all still. <laughs> but they're all just kind of living um, mm -hmm. in harmony with each other, just kind of using the basic. Well, not they eat each other. And but, they... Yeah, but they're using just the basic stuff. Mm -hmm. They're not really making anything that impressive with the basic raw materials. <laughs> we got... <laughs> We got nuclear power plants. We got yeah. space shuttles way up there. Yeah, we harness the power of the atom. Yeah, zebras what are the giraffes doing? Zebras They're aren't doing looking nothing. At, zebras aren't looking at us going, God, I wish I, wish I had a... <laughs> I, I wish I had a Bentley. <laughs> but doesn't that make you think that they're, but they're not doing anything? They're, they're not doing, they're doing anything. anything. There isn't one other animal out there Every doing once anything. A, every once in a while, you, an animal will make a pile of dirt. <laughs> We're well, amazed when a monkey takes a stick and puts it in a termite hole and right. pulls it out. That's what, he used a stick. That's what creeps me out. There's no one even, any, no other animal out there is even close to us. Nobody has... Um... Like you Barbie could have a lunch, nobody has a Barbie lunchbox. Nobody has no nothing. Has There's a not nobody one wallaby that is doing a morning radio show no. today. Dude, we're building like <laughs> there's not one hyena who has a Wii. A Wii who playing play, the Wii. You can play Halo. I'm sure animals. Some would probably love playing the look, Wii. <laughs> look at all the buildings outside. What is yeah. the rest of these animals doing? Nothing. They're walking a pile around, of eating dirt here and there. Yeah, in a cave, they're doing fine. Oh, makes a good point on this one, Louis. <laughs> We kind of are a little odd to this planet. It creeps me out that there's a massive yeah. drop off after us, and that's what that's why I'm convinced we're just. I tell you what, I really originally. don't think is definitely. I, what I think is definitely not the answer is that we're the, the that God made us and made us special. No, I don't, don't buy that either. I don't buy for a yeah, second. I don't, I, I don't buy that. No. It, the whole story behind it is too fantasy like. Yeah, there has to. Be, I want records. I want parchment records. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I want the, the the schematic that he used. <laughs> Something. I, I would just no. We're an unchecked mammal. That's all. We're there's we're overpopulating. It's just all right. One out of eats us. Uh, all right. One out but of all the animals out there. That's creepy. Know how many animals? Uh, different animals there are out there. Not one. If you put us on a graph like what we've done and what everybody else does, they're all way down here. One's a little better than the other. We have medicine. No other animal uses that. If any other animal gets sick or injured, they're dead. That's right. They're dead. We came up with medicine. Mm -hmm. I mean, well, well, like Hope says, give me a close or even a distant second place animal. <laughs> well, who's in second place? Seriously. Humans? Who's in second? And I then who's. Know. Well, it, again, I'd people say would the, argue dolphins. I'd say the gorilla. Or gorillas. In technology and literature. In literature and technology, I think we're definitely a far first. <laughs> literature? Yeah. Far first is not even but another. It, but as far as taking care of ourselves. not even another animal that can read a word. But as far as taking care of ourselves and being healthy and, and sustaining as a species, I, we're not that much better than the other ones. The other ones are keeping their numbers fine and they're probably more stable. Uh, yeah, they probably don't get the same diseases we do. Most of those, they don't. They just die of old age. A lot of those animals, they don't, you know, get, or something else ripping its throat tired. out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> now, one other... I don't think there's a big problem with breast cancer among the raccoons. <laughs> you know what I, mean? I don't think that, like, I don't <laughs> think that, like, I don't know. I could be wrong. Yeah. Now, I, one, not one other animal goes right. to school, yeah. goes to work. That's right. Nothing. But I don't, well, think, any, I don't think any hippos and... have diabetes and, <laughs> and like are and, near and they're sighted. overweight. We don't even know how many. There could be. There's probably like a planet like ten feet away from Earth, full of people <laughs> that, are like, that are like, look how dumb these things. Just look over here, ass. Jerk -offs. We got a submarine that almost went far enough to to discover a, yeah. a whole nother civilization. Yeah. And the people are we're in a panic as they see this thing slowly, you know, going like down. Oh, down, good, they're going back up. They're going back up. They got yeah. scared by those glow-in-the-dark uh, fishes. All right, we're good. <laughs> yeah. We're good. No, we have no idea. Why do you ants, say ants, ants are even smarter than bees? They have an amazing society. Yeah. There's one thing, one detail about what ants do. They keep cattle. They're, they're called oh. aphids. Yeah. Ants they take aphids, milk them. which is a smaller uh, bug. And they take them. They 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 just they they catch them. They bring them down into their homes, and they keep them in the coolest part, like the nicest part, the refrigerator. Yeah, and they put them and they and they put them along the walls of their where they live, and they milk them. They actually squeeze their nipples and get milk out of them and feed aphid milk to their young. 
and they keep That's they feed amazing. they feed their aphids very carefully, and they 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 have food specifically for them. All right, they're getting ready to take over. It's That's pretty creepy. Good. It's pretty good but do what they, ants can do, and also do they, they have they, ant TV though? They no, but they communicate really well. They do a you know like you know when you see an ant, ant trail mm -hmm. from food to a hole. Yeah. That the way that got started is an amazing. Can it, I mean the way that they find they just yeah. spray out in all directions. Little so rub the antenna. The antenna. They got like a scout that goes out yes. and then he comes back and tells the other guys and, and then the other guys. He'll eat a little bit of the food, but he'll take some back with him and put it into the mouth of the other. And they 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 Louis, feed each other. Yeah, that yeah. that ant trail thing is really creepy. Yeah. Last time I was on vacation, I was down in Turks and Caicos, mm -hmm. and I almost. Uh, uh, cut the tip of my finger off, just slicing into a pineapple, and it just yeah. starts bleeding like crazy. A puddle of blood out, yeah. you know, outside my room on the balcony, right? And I'm mm -hmm. just staring at the blood on the floor. Within seconds, seconds, yeah. there was a line of ants coming up the wall, over the rail, and That's down right. toward the blood, That's drinking right. it up. That's how quickly they within they told seconds. Each other. That's how quick, and they don't smell it. They don't smell it. They it's just that one randomized ant scout. Yeah, found it, and that's how quickly he was able to tell his whole colony. Yeah, but they know where it is. Bringing your blood, and now your DNA has fed like your Ooh. your blood was f fed to an aphid, whose milk fed the young of the ants. <laughs> so there's like little ants with your face on them running around. <laughs> Maybe I'm their god. Yeah, probably. <laughs> you know what? I, I like your your thinking about the ant being second in line, but I, I don't know. We can. I, I personally. Can kill a billion ants in in minutes. Yeah, well, that's the thing. How? how but there's way more than we a get, billion. We're going to be now. killed by some asteroid. It doesn't. Yeah. Matter. I mean, we're we're the same. We're just mm. as fragile. And and you're you're uh, you're talking about numbers. Do you think the ant tries to come up with a defense against the human foot, like we would the asteroid? That's the thing. We that's talk why about we could shoot nuclear missiles at it yeah. or do this or you know we'll send a drill team up and put a bomb in there or yeah. whatever the that's hell movie you come better, up with. Because they're just like ah. Oh, well, well, the foot comes, it comes. What are we gonna yeah, do? Exactly. <laughs> the big foot. When the foot. And comes, how organized are they? All you have to do is knock over a little ant hill and you see how unorganized. They oh, are. when well, they start running around all crazy, up. they start <laughs> running around like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that's what it looks like to you, but they're already rebuilding. Yeah, they line it back up. They line it back If you come back a, a, a couple of minutes later, it's back up. None yeah. of this 9-11, what are we going to call it? Is there a spire? <laughs> Should we build a park? You know what? They don't have, there's no Mayor Bloomberg ants going, I just think we need to rebuild. They just start rebuilding. <laughs> they just start doing it. They just start If doing it was up to the ants, we'd have those towers built already. Right? No yeah, red exactly. state. Yeah, no yeah. ants. There's no, like, red state ants and blue state ants. Right, they just yep. do it. No, there's no Gingrich ants. I love pot. I talk Monday. I love it. There's no, you know, there's no black ants with weird hair complaining that some <laughs> ants, that the red ants are. And, and you talk about knocking over an anthill and they just go nuts, it, like New Orleans. Yeah, with the with the uh, the hurricane there. Yeah. Yep. Same, no, same thing. There's if, no if, ants flying over the. Uh, but if after aliens, the foot comes, some. But ants if aliens fly are, over, fly and, over and, and assess the damage. <laughs> yeah. But if aliens were looking at it from above, they're yeah. like, "Look at these stupid humans. They don't know what they're doing." But, yep. You know, this hurricane knocked uh, their city apart, and look, they're running around like crazy. That's yeah, but we, we were organizing. It, it took a while. Well, we just but... gave all the money to Halliburton. <laughs> we're not doing anything for those people. Are you kidding? <laughs> New Orleans is gone. It's full. It's just Halliburton squeezed it for whatever uh, left, was, and that you was know the what? end of it. It was time for another city to move up. Yeah, again, that's what I feel. Yeah. So what? It's Rochester's turn. Yeah. It's just Rochester. Rochester's turn. That's right. They've been no. waiting for this moment. Yeah. Uh, let's go to Joe in Queens. Joe. Yeah. Um, there is no animal on Earth anywhere near us, and I can prove it with one word. Veterinarians, we got to help them when they're sick and injured. Let's see a dog or a monkey operate on a person. Yeah, why aren't they helping themselves and figuring out how to make each other better? Well, they don't have. We don't Thank have you, them. Joe. You're right. But we only help them exactly. because we use them. And, yeah, and have yeah. them as pets. True. They're just supposed to die when well, they get. Joe sick. makes a great point, though. Why aren't they? Joe doesn't crap make a great out. point. I'm, sh I'm sure a dog would like to live a little longer instead of <laughs> yeah. sitting there no, and dive some whacked out. <laughs> no, he <laughs> wouldn't. no, he wouldn't. How do you know? Because they don't mind dying. They just lay down and die. They're, They're not scared, scared of dying. I don't think so. I think that old dog that's like got the hip dysplasia and arthritis. Longer. He's sitting there going like, ah. yeah, he's got like a, a somebody put a fake valve in his heart, and he's like, dude, let me go. <laughs> I just want to die. I, so when I haven't taken a hard dump in, a, in two years. <laughs> Let me go. So when you see like a little doggy walking around with like training wheels for his back leg, yeah, you that's, think, no, he was supposed to die. He really doesn't want that. He was supposed. <laughs> he to really die. doesn't want that. No, 
<laughs> no, we are no. really asses. He was the thing is that if he lived, the problem is that he lives in the streets where he would like starve slowly. If he was a dog in the wild with no legs, he'd just get torn apart. Oh and eaten, yeah, and his mother would eat him immediately. His mom right would out of the him. womb. Yeah. She'd be She'd licking go, off the placenta and just go, what is it? Oh, okay. Oh, I got three puppies and a snack. Feed it to the rest of them, yeah. right? So <laughs> what? Again. Like them in Planet of the Apes. Mm-hmm. The fact that they call like they all the the apes ran the, the town and they called it Ape City. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like <laughs> even they're acknowledging in that way that isn't this crazy? That it's like this is insane. Yeah. look, it's Ape City. Yeah, That's we don't, crazy. We don't call our our country like Man America because <laughs> we think it's weird that we think it's weird that a man are involved. Ape law. Ape law. Ape law. Oh, see, it's wild. It's law, but it's ape law. We even see it's crazy. It's nuts. Look, we're monkeys. We're not supposed to be in charge. (laughs) The one where they show how it happened, you know, the conquest of the planet. Yeah. Where they show how apes used to be pets and servants. Yeah. It seems like the whole world revolved around ape problems. <laughs> like nobody was, humans aren't any longer doing just regular jobs. They're no, just it's dealing with apes. apes. Like and in this the con- problems that, that having yeah. apes doing these jobs, and it's just, like they drop ape something. Ape trouble in sector three. Ape <laughs> trouble in sector three. <laughs> yeah. Constant and trouble that it's worth. <laughs> it's just constant. And these jackbooted cops yeah. that are just about ape Just control. to take care of the apes. A- disperse apes on sector four. Disperse <laughs> apes. Like Nobody's nobody's running a computer company or like listening to music. It's just constant ape, oh, ape management theory. You know that some people I say heard that, from you Jurassic know the whole Park. thing that Dick Cheney's a lizard. Yeah, that's the, that guy. That's your answer. <laughs> Dick Cheney. Dick so. Cheney is a changeling lizard. This is like a big. There's there are many people that believe this. Seriously, there's a big that he is a lizard. That, that he's part of this lizard people that that can change into humans, but that he's a lizard, wow. and that's who's taken over. All right, L- that's kind of cool. Already taken over. Lizards. There are people that believe this. I'm telling you, it's a planet 10 feet away that's full of lizards. 10 feet. What, do they and just camouflage they themselves put on a really human well? That th- it's already 30% of us are already these lizards that are right over there. I love your theory that there might be a planet 10 feet <laughs> well, away. Well, we're just not I looking. Love it. Way, we're love so it. blind because like, we keep finding, oh, there's another planet, and Pluto's not a planet. Like, There's one right there, and we just keep missing it. Like Every every time people turn over and the, the planet just moves. And we just don't have yeah. the equipment to pick we up. We can't look at it. We just can't look at it. No, it's like the dark side of the moon. It's just yeah. right there. And people kind of take a just a shuttle uh, spaceship cab over occasionally. Yeah, right. these lizards they dress like humans, and we're too uh, we're we're too busy looking far far away. Yes, so maybe right under there's already an animal that's getting ready to take over, and they just decided to mm-hmm. dis- yes. disguise themselves as us. Yes, black people like it. No. <laughs> Jesus, the lizards. What wow, lizard people? I was avoiding that for the last hour, by the way. I didn't feedback. I know what the second, second oh, most. Oh, Jesus. And it was every race you can imagine. It's uh, Opie and Anthony. Yeah, you can imagine.